God. Oh, man. Here we are again. May 18, 2018. Santa Fe High School shooting. Eight dead. Don't know how many injured. This is a live broadcast of what is taking place in Santa Fe, Texas right now. If, in fact, the person who we believe is the shooter turns out to be mm -hmm. confirmed as the shooter, we have t-shirts where he just a few weeks ago posted a t-shirt saying, born to kill. Uh, a dark gray t-shirt, born to kill. These are all on social media? That yeah, Facebook? That was yeah, Facebook. Facebook right. page. I have a question. Um, so we've been hearing, and you might have a, a better idea of what exactly happened, but we've been hearing conflicting reports about the fire alarm being pulled and who pulled the fire alarm. Was it the suspected shooter? Uh, uh, two students that um, I believe one of our reporters had interviewed uh, live had mentioned that they saw a substitute teacher pull right. out. And of course, we saw that in Parkland. That just makes the situation even more chaotic as students are fleeing and running out of school thinking it might be a fire alarm, and then there's a, a shooter inside the school. What have you heard about that? What are your sources telling you? I have not been able to get any more information on that. But that is going to be a key question indeed, because was it a replica of Parkland in so much as uh, the fire alarm was told to draw students mm -hmm. out, and then they're basically sitting ducks. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, there's no other way to describe it. Or um, was it a case mm -hmm. where it was a substitute just trying to get people out, which uh, would, be, would be interesting as well, because we just heard on the dispatch tape that they were sheltering. There was nine students and a teacher hiding in a closet, and, and that normally is protocol is to lock the door and hide and wait. Mm -hmm. You know, run, hide, fight. We, mm -hmm. we always hear those three sort of, um, uh, you know, things to do when mm -hmm. an active All situation. All right, I will link below. Um, what have I learned from our fabulous mainstream media? CNN, at least eight killed in shooting at Texas Santa Fe High School. Sheriff says, here we have our army right there. Boy, this country has changed, huh? Well, eight people, possibly ten, have died. It is the third shooting in eight days. And the 22nd since the beginning of this year, a male suspect believed to be a student has been arrested. A second person believed <coughs> to be a student has been detained. Uh, patients from the school are being taken to a hospital. That's a weird con sentence construction. You would think injured students from the school are being taken to a hospital. All right. One police officer was injured. A 14-year-old student said that the schoolmates were being evacuated at one point like it's a fire drill. We were all standing outside, but not even five minutes later, we started hearing gunshots. And then everybody starts running, but like the teachers are telling us to stay put, but we're all just running away. She didn't see anybody shooting. The shooting, the gunshots were apparently spaced. I didn't look, I just ran. Another student, said, I was in the history hallway, and as soon as we heard the alarms, everybody just started leaving following the same procedure, a practice fire drill. Next thing you know, we just hear three gunshots, loud explosions. Yeah, they were talking about a possible bomb in this school. Wow, these students, these young kids today, really know how to make bombs and plant them in schools and go into schools and shoot up other students. So the entire school district is on lockdown. I guess, is that the Galveston School District? I think so. But the other shootings that took place, Illinois School Resource officer shot and wounded a former student who fired a weapon weapon near a graduation rehearsal at Dixon High School. Uh, 
a 14, listen to this, a 14-year-old boy in Palmdale, California, went to Highland High, his former school, and began shooting a semi-automatic rifle shortly before classes began. And one person was wounded. These shootings occurred, and the shooter has been arrested and taken into custody. But did you catch a glitch here? A 14-year-old went to his former high school. All right, if you're not getting that, then you are a victim of the dumbing down here in the United States. New York Times. Here we go. Um, they don't even mention anything about the explosion or the fire drill. I don't think. Um, several hours after the shooting in this rural town between Houston and Galveston, police cars blocked the road off the state highway where the town's only high school is located. Several hours after the shooting, the police then block the state highway? Okay. Wow, so much begs questions today. Because they had already apprehended the shooter. They already apprehended the second person that they believe was involved. But then they uh, block off the state highway. All right. Doesn't sound like there was any need at that point. Now, I want to bring your attention to what I have been noticing in the last um, several days taking place in Texas. But before I do, President Trump he got on it on Twitter and posted this early reports not looking good. God bless all. Wow, okay. I would think that the president has a speech writer or a Twitter writer and he might have said something a little bit more, I don't know, substantive or eloquent. Early reports not looking good. God bless all. Um, this is where Santa Fe High School is. And as you can see, very close to Galveston and in between Galveston and Houston. I've been taking screenshots and this has been occurring in this area. And I've taken several captures of the ultra low frequencies being set off right smack in this area. Now, here's another one. <clears throat> and I can't remember which one is from the 14th of May or the 16th of May. But the ultra low frequencies that have been going off in Texas, right smack in this area, have been intense. Ultra low frequencies, if you don't know what ultra low frequencies can do to a region's population, it can make them go insane. It can, it can mind control the people within that population. And if you're just rolling your eyes, if you're thinking I'm crazy, it simply means that something is wrong with your brain because just hearing something from someone and then shooting off judgments that are completely and utterly baseless, well, I, I don't, that truly is uh, evidence that you're not using your brain correctly. You should just do the research before you make your judgments and then close down. But perhaps you're mind controlled already, programmed to do exactly that. So why do I bring 
these ultra low frequencies into this video because everything is connected. Everything is connected. If the American people at this point are not recognizing that something is so drastically wrong here in our country and they simply go to take away the guns and they're not recognizing that that's not the answer to this problem that we have if they are not looking into these school shootings and simply asking themselves what the hell is going on that we're having so many school shootings if they simply go to we've got to pass legislation to control these guns as if the guns are the problem um, it, it, the idiocy in this country is frightening because that idiocy is bringing us all down. It is not the gun. It is not the semi-automatic weapon. It is a problem within society. Now, if an American actually was a mature adult, they would begin to question these things. If, they're, if their minds are controlled, uh, they're not going to be able to. They're programmed to go along with the official narrative. But there's an awful lot of Americans who have proven themselves as adults to be little children and go to the easiest solution, which is not a solution at all, because the problems that we are seeing in our society, well, one needs to really sit down and do a lot of deep thinking about those problems that we have, but Americans just don't do that. And when I'm saying Americans, please understand, I am not talking about every American. I am talking about the population on the whole. If they refuse to check out that many of the school shootings have been drills presented to the American people as a real live event. And it's perhaps hard for people to take in that they are being duped. You know, it's easier to fool someone than to convince them that they have been fooled. Um, well, when we do have an awful lot of human beings with a brain that just can't go and look and explore and question, then we are all in trouble. And we are all in an awful lot of trouble. I will link below to, you know, everything. But I have to say that when I saw these ultra-low frequencies going off right smack here in the Houston area, just, what, I guess the, uh, two days ago, and I'm only showing you two captures, but I have taken film of all of the ultra-low frequencies going on, especially in the eastern half of this country. I thought to myself, there's an awful lot of Americans suffering the consequences, suffering the, the symptoms related to the ultra-low frequencies. But when you see this kind of ultra-low frequency taking place, and the signature, it kind of fans out these very sharp, defined lines. When you see this going on in one particular area, and it's happening not just once, but multiple times, I did say to myself, all right, something's going on. Something's going to happen in this area.
Does it have to be a weather-related event? No. No. They could be gearing up to create a shooting, whether it is a drill or a real live event. That we will find out soon enough. Could they be controlling the minds of the people in this area? Absolutely. You know, when you start listening to these mainstream reporters come out and immediately start talking about gun control and how these students walked out of Santa Fe High School because they wanted to show unity with the Parkland students in Florida, that shooting, walking out because they wanted our politicians to begin to take seriously the gun control issue, you know there's an agenda behind all of this. And I will tell you right now, it does not matter whether this actually occurred and eight people are dead or whether it's another staged shooting. It doesn't matter because the point is we can't get through to Americans to check out whether or not the past shootings and my god it was the Newtown Sandy Hook shooting that if Americans actually were open to checking out the evidence that shows very clearly that something very wrong was happening with that shooting. The evidence that proves that that was a staged event, then they would be intelligent enough to question every shooting after that. But we don't have the American people on the whole in that kind of condition. And that's really unfortunate. Um, so here we go again. The reason why this is so dangerous, whether real or not, is they work these agendas for a reason. And one of the reasons is, and I have shown this before, New World Order plans exposed by Insider in 1969. This Dr. Day, an insider of the quote-unquote elite crazy nut jobs, uh, he was a professor of pediatrics at Mount Sinai Medical School, also served as a medical director of Planned Parenthood. You know, and it's unfortunate that we have Americans that would immediately shut down their brain just by my saying that. Why? Because they would think, a, a pediatrics professor? Give me a break, Carol. That's not an insider. Yes, it is. They have, at that time in the 60s, a whole lot of useful idiots. They already had infiltrated many institutions to destroy this country and bring in this new world order. But what did Dr. Day say? Well, he said, people are too trusting. Don't ask the right questions. Everything has two purposes, the stated purpose and then the hidden purpose. Everything has two purposes, the stated purpose and then the hidden purpose. And if you're, if you're an American, still naive like a child, believing everything that you are seeing is not brought about 
for people behind the curtain to achieve their agendas, which is ultimately the destruction of this country and to bring in this communist new world order to make, yeah, the people of the world their slaves. If you're still that naive, then you clearly are incapable of looking at the truth and, and grasping reality. And most people just don't even care because they just want to live their lives. All right, so um, the stated purpose of these shootings are that they're real. Don't look into it. Don't question anything. Just, just go along with the official narrative from your lying mainstream media reporters and your lying government officials. The hidden purpose is to destroy the Second Amendment and to take the guns away from the American people. And I know, even, you know, so much that I say, it's like I have still, well, it was my entire history, my life experience, traveling along in that social network of liberal progressive Demo Democrats. And whenever I would say something like this, I would get shamed. So in the videos, when I say these things, I still have that kind of ugh, visceral response. Oh, my God. They're going to get me on this. They're not going to look into it. They're just going to think that they're right. They won't look into it. They won't do the research. They won't look at the facts and the evidence. No, they'll just think that they're right. And their arrogance makes them kind of scary because they really do. God, do they ever put you down? And it does create, you know, an awful lot of shame that we walk around feeling, but it's not ours to carry. The other thing in this document was no more security for Americans. No more security for Americans. It's over, guys. They would use crime, drugs, alcohol to control the people, not just taking over the food supply. They have all of these fabulous ways to control the people with the frequencies, with crime, with drugs, with, with uh, alcohol, with uh, products that you buy that are crap now and just break down and, and bridges collapsing and dams collapsing and uh, planes, you know, breaking down all, play, all over the place. And these railroad crashes or derailments, all of this was planned. All you have to do is click on the link below and read read the recollections of a doctor that attended this lecture by Dr. Day. You will have no more security. This is how the United States is being brought down. This is the war. Will they have that quote unquote shit hits the fan event? event? Perhaps. Or will they just continue the boiling frog strategy boiling us into deeper darkness, evil, chaos, insanity, immorality, degrading Americans, and leaving them you know, at the edge of their seats. There's no more parents. Hey, you send your kids to school, they may get shot up. That's what's happening. And you are not to have any security now. And because you can't provide security for your children, your government is going to do it. That's also what's behind the school shootings. Your government's going to provide security. You're going to have law enforcement up the wazoo. You're going to have surveillance all over your schools. 
you're going to have the army outside your schools. And none of this had to happen if Americans would begin to wake up, grow up, and look into what is happening here. And even if they can't, you know, entertain the idea that, oh, maybe all of this is being foisted upon us deliberately, even if they can't go there, these events should be begging an awful lot of questions. And one of those questions is, what the hell is happening to our kids here in America? What's going on? Because this is not what we lived not too long ago. So what's going on? Society is breaking down. Is it because people have guns? No. And if you are so stupid to think that, you are a danger to all of us who realize what is going on. All right, guys. Um, this is just not going to stop because it is absolutely the American people who can bring it to a stop if they would just look into this, if they would just get out of their willful ignorance that they continue to choose. What a great choice, willful ignorance. That's a danger to us all. We're being attacked all over. And we're not just being attacked by our government. We're not being attacked just by um, Monsanto that has made our food dangerous and toxic. We're not, it, we're also being attacked by our fellow Americans who think ignorance is just bliss, who are incredibly self-centered and don't really care to look into anything and incredibly dumbed down and that's not just the younger generations we got an awful lot of baby boomers who are now in their you know, late 60s and early 70s that are just as dumbed down and yes everybody should be outraged by what is taking place. But everybody should be realizing that the American people are not well. And it is not just because they are now facing an environment that is so toxic with the water and the food and the air, but their brains are not well. Is it simply because of the ultra-low frequencies? No. They weren't well before 9-11. And they're still evidencing that they're just not well. They, they are well adjusted to a deeply disturbed society, which makes them all mentally ill. All links are below.